I'm gonna show you um, how that I did the flowers on my card for with the kit. It's the Papa Posey design kit. What you get in the kit, it's this here, and you get all your. Uh, it's pre die cut, whatever those little frame. You get three of the yellow, um, the yellow um, brads, and you get seven. No, you get um, one, two, three, four, five, six of the white one. You get a bunch of the flowers, and I don't think it's say how many flowers. I know you get a bunch. And this is nine, though. And then you get those cupcake uh, older that we're going to do flowers with them. With this kit, it comes with the Just For You uh, stamp. So let's get started. I'm going to show you some of the cards. Then I'm going to show you what I did with the flower. This is a curl flower. This is another curl, but it's just that I curl more. And you see the brads get the fabric in the uh, middle of it. They're very pretty brads. This is, again, curl, and this is the yellow um, brad. This here is the cupcake one, and I'm going to show you how I did this. And then this one here, it looked kind, and it's stiff. It looked kind of um, ragged or whatever. This is mixed with water. I'm going to show you how to do this, too. This is curl again, and you can see I sponge the tip of the petal. After it was done, I just took my um, a dauber, and then I sponge just the tip. And then this is one that I alternate the colors and spread with water, too, so it's very stiff. And then this one, I just curl barely. It's pretty much flat. And I'm going to show you how to put the twine. And the twine come too in the, your kit. You get the, all those pieces for the twine. And I'm going to show you all how I've done that. So let's get started. So for you, uh, I'm going to alternate the color just so you're going to see it easier. So first thing you want to do is alternate your color. So I'm going to use the color in the kit. It's Pool Party, party and Calypso uh, Corral. So I'm going to do Pool Party, Calypso, and you see I alternate them. You know, I don't go on top of each other, so then it gives more dimension. Then I'm going to use Pool Party again. And then I'm going to use Calypso. I like to do about uh, five of them in the, in the kit. I mean, in one flower, I, I like to use about five of them. Let me turn this one there. Voila. Now I'm going to take my paper uh, piercer, put a hole right in the center. And I won't use a bread in the kit because I need that to do another uh, set of card for um, a class. So I'm going to poke just another bread that I got. And all those flowers that I'm using, that's left over from all those nine cards that I show you. So you get a bunch of uh, flowers. I did nine cards, but you sure can do more. I'm going to open this. This one is very stubborn to open. Okay, now this is open, the curling one that I show you. I'm just going to take my bone folder and pull, and you want to put plenty of pressure. So voila, this is curl. It's just a little bit. If you want more, you can go again, just take one layer at a time and curl more. You see I push my finger there, so I just get one layer at a time. After you're done with this layer, then you can take your bone folder, push it there, and go again. So the more you're going to um, do layer by layer or more uh, twisting like this, or I should say pulling, the more curling. See now how curl it is? This one I would have to curl more, so you can come here, take a few layers, and curl it again. Voila. That's how I curl my flowers. Now, the one that I see they're kind of stiff here, what you would do, you can start when they're flat. You don't have to uh, curl it. But I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use a rag. Put it right there. 
and then I'm going to use plain water in a spritz bottle. I'm going to take this, spray it, and you see I put plenty, you see it's going down. Take your layers and crunch it. I call that a crunch fly, flower. I'm going to take this, just crunch it all up like this. Now that you get that layer done, go to the next one, and you're going to do that on all your layers. You could do maybe two layers at a time. I like to do one at a time. I don't know why. I just like to do one. And when you squeeze it together, you don't want to pull too hard so it's going to rip by your brad. So you just pull it up, squeeze a bit like this. And then I'm going to come again. I'm going to put more water. Maybe I can do more than one here. Maybe if I spread the bag, then I can do more than one. Let's just, yeah, this is going to work good. Put water on both sides, and then you can crunch it. Okay, now let us just let it go flat by itself. When it starts to dry, then we're going to play with it. Right now, let's leave it like that. And while this is drying a little bit, I'm going to show you how I did the frame with the baker's twine. It's not really baker's twine. It's way bigger than that. It come in the kit. I take three of the strings like this. Three of them. Take this. Do a knot. Just a regular knot. And then take one of your frame. And then I take my snail. I got a snail without the cover on it. Well, am I organized today or not? Here, I got a thing right here. Voila. Okay, you get two colors on that. One, it's more a light color, and the other one, it's more dark. And this, it's raised up. I like to use this one for the, the top. So I would put this here, snail in the back, take my twine, decide where you want your knot, and then just separate your uh, twine. I would go there, then the center, and the bottom. And then hold it there, pull it tight enough, and do the same thing. And then in the back of this, I can use more snail there, I think. Here we go. Now, you get your front. In the back, it's too long. I would cut the excess and then put, uh, you can put glue dots or you can pour, uh, put more adhesive to put on your car. Voila. You can stand first. That would help so you know where to put your twine. That would help a lot. Like this one here. If you stamp first, then you would know where to put your twine. Okay, now with the cupcake thing. Where is that card? I just did one because I'm going to tell you it's not my favorite. But I still done it for my class. So for this... What I did, it come all those little cup. I call that the cupcakes, uh, older, whatever. What I did, I took a bottle of the spritz bottle in stamping up. I filled that about all the way here, three quarter of uh, rubbing alcohol, the 70% uh, one. I add about four drops of this one, it's uh, Marina Miss. And some uh, frosted white shimmer paint. I use about three drops. Shake this very good. And then what I did, some of them I spray and some of them I didn't. Because you see I got some blue and some white wine. I wanted to alternate the color. And the only thing you would do is take this here, shake it good, and then spray it. And let it dry. After it's dry... Then you would take your, uh, let me move this, you would take your cup uh, cake holder and they all get stick together usually and alternate them between your size and your uh, the layers. First thing though, I keep them together 
take my scissors and I just snip all the way to where the circle is. I snip so then it looks like a straw flower, see? Because it come, it's just like the cupcake holder, it's all together. So I would take this here, and you can take a few layers at the same time, and I cut every other one. You're going to see you get kind of the scallop. And I cut every other one, not cut off, but just snip it to where it finished here. So after you done that, then I going to alternate my uh, layers. So I would put one, one. So that's how I done my uh, center, my uh, flower, and I put a lot of layers, and really I think like seven layers would be plenty. Then take a, one of the bread, take the paper uh, piercer that I don't know where I shove in my mess, here it is. And this one you really have to push hard with all those layers. Put your bread in the center. Open it up. And then just fluff this up. Because they all cut up. So you just fluff this up. And you can really squeeze it. So then it stay more up like the one that I did. And I put the big bread in the center so it make it even easier. It go the big bread to right the center and you would squeeze them all up and look it stay up. I didn't even spray water or nothing. When you squeeze it very good, because I think it's with the shimmer paint that you did, it stay right back up. So that's how I done this. Now let's go back to the one we spray with water. Now see it start falling down? What I would do, take your bone folder and just go right in the center so you can see your brad and just push it that you can see your bread. Voila! Now let it dry like that and it's going to stiff right up. So again that's the pop-up um, poisy, poisy um, kit and I got the, with all those cards I got a kit on my uh, blog. You can visit me at frenchystamps.com and I got all the information and that's how I did the flowers. Hope you learned something new. Till next time, happy stamping.